Hey guys, Ken Ross here and I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking into their essential expenses. And today I want to talk to small businesses. And the reason I want to talk to small businesses is because I believe you have a great advantage that you can capitalize on today. And that's customer service. And the reason I say that is this. Customer service is something that many people really value and I'm going to I'm going to give you the reasons why I think that is. There's a recent study in American Express uh business that says 81% of people think that small businesses provide better service than their larger counterparts. Now that's something to really take advantage of, right? If you think about it from a small business owner perspective, like, hey, how do I maximize this this statistic? How do I understand what that really means, right? Because my overhead is high, right? It's going to cost me more to do business as a small business owner. Well, I have some other great news for you, and that's 7 out of 10 people believe that they should pay more or are willing to pay more, up to 13% more, right, to have a better customer service experience. Now, this is something to actually take really good note of because, honestly, right, if you don't think that the margin is there, it is, right, to spend at least a little bit more enhancing the experience so that you are better than your competitors so that you can stay on top and let me let me help you out a little bit further right let me let me give you a little bit more understanding of what I'm trying to say right I'm, I'm actually gonna give you some tips here on how you can increase your customer service today and understand it today so that you can maximize this potential okay so let's get started the first thing I want to tell you is that un unfortunately right whether you're a big business or you're a smaller business, bad customer service has the opposite effect, even greater probably than good customer service or even just average service, right? Bad customer service will put you on a list of people who are willing to tell everyone they know, hey, I never want to shop here again because this was my experience. So that's, that's a, true across the board, whether you're a big business or a small business, there's always going to be people who don't have a good experience and want to tell other people about it and it actually adversely adversely affects your business in that particular instance because they're going to raise a stink about it they're going to talk about it so how do you do good service as a small business owner first thing i want to tell you is that you are a small business so that means you're smaller you have the ability to change better you can you can pivot to something a lot quicker than larger counterparts right and I, i'm going to expand a little bit on that in a little bit here but let's talk about some things you can do the first thing you can do is keep track of your technology understand where technology is going and that's one of the things I really stress on this channel it's why I pick on 5g and telecommunications providers all the time because I really do feel like they're trying to offer you something and you have to weigh that against your service to your customer is it going to enhance customer service experience is it worth investing in that's something you have to understand for yourself something you have to really figure out in your business but you do want to invest time in so for instance good good example touchless payments there's been a huge rise in touchless payments before COVID and now during COVID now that it's here right touchless payments is something that almost every business that's really looking at or focusing on their customers is investing in and there are big savings potentials there as well when it comes to what I do Having contactless payments is more secure than any other type of payment out there, right? And it's something that as a small business owner, not only will it enhance your customer service experience, it will help save you money because you are doing things more securely. So that's the first thing. That's an example, something that you can do. Next thing I want to talk about is phone experience. Whether you're on the phone with someone, whether you're on hold, whether they go to call and leave a message, that experience needs to be personalized. It needs to be something that your business spends some time investing in. And I have ways and can help you understand ways that you can maximize that as well. I, I get paid for none of these things that I talk about uh, on this channel. I don't spend a whole lot of time um, making good, you know, making de smart deals with people like with kickbacks or anything. I'm a business consultant. I specialize in cer certain areas that help help me. Uh, help my bottom line, but I also feel like it's my duty to highlight exceptional businesses that are doing things right, that enhance customer service experiences, and I know people that do that, 
when it comes to the phone uh, experience. And so I'd love to connect you with them. And it, and it would be it'd be a great experience overall for everyone. I think it'd be awesome. The next thing is personal interactions and relationships. This is something I've invested a lot in in my own business as well as as a small business owner, something that you have an advantage over your larger counterparts. You do not have to worry about being in a lot of different places, right? Let's think of Apple, for instance. Apple has hundreds of stores, Apple stores, all over the world, right? They want their experience to be consistent across the board. They want their certain, they want a certain look and a certain desire. You can personalize your experience for each area that you're in and you're a small you're in a smaller footprint you don't have to do that across hundreds of stores like apple would right something that you should really invest some time in understanding and, and, and explaining not only to your employees you know people that that work for you but to but to the community itself i'm here to serve a community this is how i'm doing that this is what i'm doing to do that this is what sets me apart from my competitors because not every competitor, not every person in this space doing business is concerned about their community and, and really reaching people personally. They're also not concerned about when their customers come in, uh, what their other problems are, right? Or how they can best serve that person individually. They're more concerned about a sale. So if you're not focusing on sales as much as really meeting the customer, understanding their needs at that time, and then fulfilling what it is you provide, because why would anyone want to come to your store if they weren't interested, right? Or why would anyone want to seek your service or call you if they weren't interested? They have some interest. You want to invest in what it is they want and what their needs are personally. And if you can do that, that's something that bigger businesses don't spend a whole lot of time doing and don't have the time to do. It's not something they're, they're looking to do. They're looking to push sales. Next thing I want to talk about is social media. It's a big thing, right? But you have an opportunity to do something in social media that bigger businesses don't have. And that's you can definitely personalize it to your area, like I said before, and your customers can have an exceptional experience. Now, let's just, let's just take an example. And I like to pick on Apple, and I have been in this video. Um, but the CEO of Apple is Tim Cook. And I love Apple, right? I love Tim Cook in some sense because he's the CEO of Apple right now. Wouldn't it be a great experience for me as a, as a customer to be able to take a selfie with Tim, Tim Cook? I think it would be. I think it would be awesome. Well, as a small business owner, if you have an exceptional business, you can take a selfie with an owner. You could be the owner that says, hey, I love what I do for my business, uh, for my community. I love what I do for, for my customers. I'm willing to be around and I'm available to, to, to post to social media and take a selfie with them. How much greater is that for your business than it would be for Tim Cook, right? In some sense, Tim Cook, they make exceptional products in Apple and they talk about them and people uh, are all, all about it, but it would be an arduous task for him to do that. It's something you can do because you're a smaller business and it would definitely highlight your business to all of those person's friends. Hey, look, I went and I met the owner of one of my favorite stores, or I met the owner and this is what he's been doing for me. He's an awesome guy, right? That's something you cannot replace in bigger business. You can't make that same experience, but you could certainly do that for your customers and it would help you as a business owner. It's something I really feel like smaller businesses should do more of, right? That's the next thing. So the next thing I wanna talk about is proper employee training. Now. One might say, well, it's hard to train people when I'm in a service business and, and there's a lot of customers and I have a lot of churn. It's important that service is consistent. It's important that your employees are well trained. And the reason I say that is because you want consistency. You don't want one customer coming in having a different experience because of a different employee's understanding of the world or understanding of the business, right? You want that to be consistent. So the easiest way I can give you, the best advice I can give you is to make a small list and say, every employee must know these things, right? And push it as a philosophy. Highlight people doing that. Encourage them saying, hey, look, this is how this is supposed to be done. Do it the way Tim has done it or do it the way Jimmy has done it or do it the way that Shirley has done it or Julie has done it. 
That is something I think will go a long way to showing the consistency and it's something you can do as a smaller business that bigger businesses don't necessarily do or can't do. They have big budgets and they spend budgets on training materials and having that consistency there. That's how they get consistency with their employees across the larger spaces that they've trained them and every person has to go through these trainings and every manager has to check the check box and say, yep, I, uh, you know, Jimmy, he did all of these things and we're ready to go, right? And they have to measure that against, you know, their goals and see that, that they're all doing it that way. That's the way bigger businesses work. But you have the ability as a smaller business to see that in employees and to highlight them as a business owner. How, how much more encouraging would it be if the owner of the company said, hey, look, so-and-so's doing a great job. You should do it just like them, right? That's something I don't think a, small, a bigger business can do, right? It's not something that, I mean, a manager could certainly do that, but they don't own the business. They're not the ones, they're not the one who, who put this all together. You are, right? Something that I really do feel like as a, as a smaller business, you have the ability to do that bigger businesses don't do. The last thing I want to talk about is this. Being responsive to customer uh, suggestions, right? You may have a suggestion box or, or you may see other people with like, hey, give me your comments here or whatever, right? Bigger businesses do take feedback from their customers and they do change those things, but it requires a lot more effort and a lot more time to consider these changes. Why? Because they implement those changes across the whole market, right? They're not just gonna make changes for one location. They're gonna make that change at every location because they want that thing to be consistent everywhere, right? And it may require an investment in certain things, but you as a smaller business owner have the ability to implement those changes a lot quicker to, their, to your customers. And you have the ability to train all your employees. And if you foster the culture of good employee training and understanding, hey, this is the way we do things. This is something that won't be that difficult for them to change to. Whereas with a bigger company, ah, changes come and they hate them and they don't understand why are we doing this? This is ridiculous. Well, we spent a lot of time researching it and this is what we think should be helpful to our customers. We're going to start doing it this way. Um, it's really hard to manage from a bigger standpoint. As a smaller business, you don't have that complexity. You're able to pivot faster. You're able to listen to feedback and implement it more often than bigger businesses. So that's something you should definitely take advantage of. And in the end, know that the margin's there. Know that people are willing to pay for better service. That's what I have today. Would love to hear your comments in the comments section below. Would love it if you'd share this video. I, I wanna hear feedback on this one. I really do feel like I spent a lot of time and I do that with all of these videos, spend a lot of time researching and developing this content to, to share to you. Would love to hear your feedback. I'm gonna post some links to some of the resources that I, I used to create this video. You should check those things out as well if you want more information on that. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Tell your friends to do the same. I really wanna have a fair exchange and, and understand business better. I want topics to cover. I'd love to hear your feedback on some things that we could cover on this channel because I'm, I'm always looking for the, for the way to help businesses grow. And I really think that for smaller businesses, customer service is the best way for one, one of the best ways for you to grow your business right now. If you invest heavily in making that experience the best that it can be, you're going to see great returns in your business. You're going to be so, so pumped to get up because you know your customers are happy. So with that, See me around on different social media platforms. I'll be around different places and visit my website, IamKenRoss.com. And until next time, I'll see you around.